Hey guys, that monkey in the back here for another video. This will be week five NFL preview and recap. We recap week five NFL games and then week six we will talk about the new games and what I think who I think is gonna win and lose. And guys, just a reminder, if you want to, you can ask me any fantasy questions and I will make a video about it. So leave your fantasy questions down below. And if you do leave a um your your questions, then I will make a video about it and go in depth and explain why I think or whatever my answer is and why I think my answer is correct. So remember guys, if you do have fancy questions, leave them down below. Let's get started right into the Thursday night game. Arizona played the 49ers and starting off the game, it was very, very boring the first half. Um, I believe Arizona was winning by halftime, but not by much. And then the second half, David Johnson exploded, just pretty much carving up the 49ers and San uh, the Cardinals did end up winning this game 33 to 21. Um, Colts versus uh, Bears. The concept of the game was that both op defenses could not stop the other's offense. Uh, Hoyer had all day to throw it. He completed a lot of passes to Ashawn. No, sorry, he completed like two passes to Ashawn Jeffrey. He completed a pass. Oh, he completed mostly everything and handed it off to Mr. Jordan Howard. That's like a. You know, David Johnson thing, but Jordan Howard. Jo uh, Jordan Howard did amazing. He ran all over the Colts. He caught a lot of passes on the Colts. And I, I forget what the other receiver's name is, but the uh, Bears have another receiver. I think it's like number 15. It's white guy. He did amazing too. I, I forget his name. So sorry to forget his name, but he did amazing. The Bears looked great in this game. The Colts end up winning with a T.Y. Hilton touchdown and an inventory field goal after the Bears did fumble the ball on their uh Kind of like, I think it was a possession with like three minutes to go. They ended up fumbling the ball. So that gave the Colts another field goal and gave them a 29-23 win. Next game we have here is going to be Minnesota versus Houston. Minnesota destroyed Houston in this game. Um, Houston had two field goals and a DeAndre Hopkins touchdown. Uh, Minnesota had two touchdowns by Matt Adiasa. They had a punt return for a touchdown. And they also had a touchdown to, again, another receiver I do not know his name of. I'll learn these guys' names, trust me. But it's just these receivers that usually, you know, nobody knows their name. And then they come out of nowhere and they become amazing. So, I gotta remember these guys' names. I'll learn these guys' names eventually. Will Fuller did nothing. 31-13, Vikings win. Um... Patriots versus Browns. We did... They did exactly what we thought they were gonna do. Tom Buddy came out there through... Through three touchdowns and 400 yards, I believe. And that's completely destroyed the Browns. Garrett Bunt, Blunt scored to show that he's, you know, kind of decent. And, I mean, sorry, he's so decent. And he's going to be great with Brady back. Um, Lewis, not Lewis. I'm thinking of Deion Lewis. Um, James White had, like, a 50-yard completion. Well, he just looked amazing. And he just outran everybody and then finally got tackled. Um... Big thing about the Browns, Cody Kessler got hurt, so uh, Charlie Whitehurst came into the game. At this point with the Browns, they're on the, what, fifth or sixth string quarterback. I don't know what to say about the Browns. They look awful. End of story. Patriots, you guys are good. <laughs> That's just how it is. Martell has been ahead three touchdowns. So. Or two touchdowns, I believe. Either two or three. Um, Steelers Jets. Well, Sammy Coates went off. Um, Jesse James scored a touchdown and then Antonio Brown scored a touchdown. Plain and simple. The Jets have no defense. They have no, they cannot cover the field. Like, their defense of secondary is awful. They have really good defense alignment and that's it. Steelers destroyed them. Next game. Also, Steelers. Just like the Ravens, we learned this lesson the hard way. Don't fake a punt. I'm sorry, a out. Don't, don't fake a field goal. Don't do it. One thing, that the Ravens actually had a productive way where they faked it and then they Justin Tucker threw it. Crockett Gilmore went to catch it. Bounced off a defender's head. Okay. The Steelers fake a field goal. And one thing, the punter tries to run the first down. He gets tackled. He fumbles the ball out of bounds. And then they call a legal formation. Like, never fake field goals and punts. Just, let's all together as an NFL here, stop doing this. It's just not going to work. Next game we have here is going to be Eagles versus Lions. The Eagles lost in a one-point game. So the Lions won by one point. That's very heartbreaking. Um, 
Justin Forsett might sign with the Lions, which is kind of interesting. Um, Dwayne Washington was not in this game. It was Theo Redrick and Zach Zenner as the running backs for this game. That's why Justin Forsett might be here. Um, apparently, Dwayne Washington has a high ankle swing. I don't know how long that's going to be out for. But in this game, pretty much, Golden Tate, 33 yards, did nothing. Carson Wentz through his first interception. Is everyone surprised? No? Me either. Because Carson Wentz is amazing. <laughs> Carson Wentz is so amazing no matter what he does. I mean, uh, him and Dak Prescott, amazing. Jared Goff, hey, is he, has he been activated yet? I don't think so. Next game we have here is going to be Titans versus Dolphins. Titans did win this one. Delaney Walker caught a touchdown pass. And plain and simple, Dolphins look bad. They look really bad. They did beat the Browns. Remember that. They beat the Browns because the Browns gave up at the end of the game. Because the Browns had a game-winning field goal, easy field goal, missed. And then in overtime, they couldn't do anything. They punt the ball to the Dolphins. The Dolphins run a touchdown with uh, Ajayi. And yeah, so Dolphins suck. Titans, decent. Derrick Henry, I think he had 50 yards. Not bad. Um, DeMarco Murray is pretty much the team. Ravens versus Washington Redskins. The Ravens actually came back in the end, just like last week, had a chance to win the game. Patrick Pierman catches the touchdown pass over the most overrated cornerback in football. <clears throat> cough, cough, Josh Norman. Um, and showed why the 70 million wasn't worth it. Oh, yeah, by the way, he only got one foot in bounds. Yeah, he, he caught a touchdown pass over Josh Norman, completely destroyed him, but he just couldn't keep that left over that right foot in bounds. So the touchdown didn't matter. Ravens end up going three and out after that. Redskins win. Didn't deserve it. Well, I mean, they deserved it for the fact that Ravens suck on offense. And by the way, Mark Tressman fired. Yep, and now the quarterback's coach is going to be the coach of the offense coordinator for the Ravens. And the key thing about that is that he played three years with Philly. Philly's good. I like Philly's offense. I know Chip Kelly was there, and that's why his, the offense was so good. But I still like I love Philly's offense. So. Next one we have here is going to be Falcons-Broncos. Did anyone expect Tevin Coleman, when he has uh, that one, what's it called, sickle cell thing where he can't play in high altitudes. They played him anyway, and he still had a touchdown. He still ran, and he still caught everything. So, plain and simple, Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman saw him every week, both of them. Because at this point, they're amazing. Against the Broncos defense, Broncos defense did not matter. Matt Ryan did, didn't do anything. And Julio Jones didn't do anything. But, let's look at the bright side. Tevin Coleman and Devontae Freeman are both of my fantasy team. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But, yeah, Falcons won 23-16. Uh, Travis, okay, I, you know what? Someone even helped me. We're going to find that person. We'll find that person that helped me say his name. And I'm going to try to say his name right based on what you said. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can find the comment. Can I find the comment? Alright, Nicholas Travis. It's pronounced Trevor Sim. E and Trevor Simeon. Simeon. Did I say it right? Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon? Is that right? You guys, you all my critics down below. You go down below right now and comment. I don't care if you never comment on the video in your life. You comment. You tell me. Trevor Sim Sim Simeon. Simeon. <laughs> I can't even say. Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon, is that how you say it? You guys can tell me down below if I said that correctly. So, Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon was, got hurt in this game. Oh, I, oh, I, don't, I think he did play, but he, he was taken out. Paxton Lynch played the most of the game. Didn't really do anything great. I mean, no one expected too much from him. Bills versus Rams. The Bills look good. The Bills actually look good. They won 30-19. Shady McCoy had a big run. He had a great day. The Bills look good. <laughs> and I hate to say that. I don't like the Bills. Uh, I mean, I don't not like the Bills. I just don't like Patriots. But I, I just don't... I don't like Rex Ryan. I don't think he's a good coach at all. But 
they actually won. I gotta give it to them. Next game we have here is Cowboys versus Bengals. Cowboys destroyed the Bengals. The Bengals scored two pity touchdowns at the end of the game, or kind of in the third, the fourth quarter. And yeah, it was 21 0 when I stopped watching it. So, plain and simple. Dak Prescott looks good. <laughs> Raiders versus Chargers. Um, usually how this works is the home team always wins this matchup, and they did. The Raiders won 34 to 31. Uh, Travis Benjamin had 112 yards. I mean, there's not much more to say. Deion, uh, Tavius Murray didn't play. Uh, Jalen Rashard did amazing. Well, not amazing, but he had like 90 yards. Um, DeAndre Washington did okay. And then the other guy they have, the third string halfback, he did decent. There's no clear cut till Latavius Murray comes back. He's going to be the starter. Plain and simple. Next game we have here is going to be... Packers versus Giants. Um, the Packers pretty much destroyed the Giants, and then the Giants at the end made it a game, almost came back and won, but found a way to lose the game once again. Eli Manning looks awful. Packers win 23-16. Finally, Tampa Bay versus Carolina. Wow, Carolina sucks. I'm just going to put it out there. Carolina is bad. Their defense is bad. Their offense Okay, I know Cam Newton wasn't out there, guys. I know a lot of people say, well, Cam Newton is your offense. Okay, but is Cam Newton their defense? I didn't think so. Their defense looks awful. Their secondary, awful. They can't stop the run to save their life. I literally thought that Jayquiz Rodgers was going to, like, bust away a touchdown every single run. It looked bad. And I know they have some great linebackers, so don't get me wrong. They have a great defensive line. But they did not look good. And I gotta say, they're one in three for a reason. Is it one in three? I believe it's one in three. Is it one in four? I think it's one in four. Are they one in three or one in four? I don't know if they had the bye week. I don't think they had the bye week. No, the bye week's like week seven, I believe. So they should be one in four if I'm not incorrect. Um, let's see. They are currently. Let me go to standings and. Yeah, they're one and four, right? Yep, they're one and four, and the Falcons are four and one. Tampa Bay is two and three. Saints are one and three because Saints had a bye week. So yeah, they're one and four for a reason. They suck. And it's kind of sad because last year they almost won the Super Bowl. This year they can't do crap. It's kind of sad. Let's go on to next week games. Broncos versus Chargers. My prediction: Chargers win the game. Done. I just think they're going to win. I, I really have high hopes in the Chargers winning this game. The Broncos defense got exposed last week. I think Phil Rivers is going to expose them once again. And then when it comes down to if Paxton Lynch or Trevor Simon. Trevor Simon. Oh, no, wait. I'm never going to say his name right. So let's just cut the chase on the fact that Simeon, Trevor Simeon. I don't think if he starts or it's going to be, what's his name, Paxton Lynch, I don't think either one is going to do amazing. And even though the Chargers, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, but I don't think it's going to be a good game. Next game we have here is going to be Ravens versus Giants. Um, I think both offenses are struggling. I'm going to give the Ravens the benefit of the doubt, say they win the game because of the fact they have a really good defense. And... I guess, you know, maybe that new offense coordinator can do something. Next game we have here is Panthers versus Saints. I don't know. We don't know if Cam Newton's going to play. So I'm going to assume he's not because he's still in concussion protocol. So I'm going to say that the Saints win this game easily because the Saints can put up 40 points and I don't think the Panthers can. So Saints defense sucks. Panthers defense sucks. High scoring game. Maybe. Saints definitely going to score. Um, Patriots versus Bengals, I say Patriots win this game. Titans versus Browns, Titans win the game. Bears versus Jags, I'm actually going to give this one to the Bears. Lions versus Rams, I'll give it to the Lions. Eagles versus Redskins, I'll give it to the Redskins. Steelers versus Dolphins, I'm going to give this game to the Steelers. Uh, Bills versus 49ers, I'll give this one, this game to the Bills. I think Kaepernick is going to start for as quarterback and gonna replace Blaine Blabbered. But if you guys do if you guys know that reference, 
you are the MVP. That reference is from another YouTuber that is a fantasy channel, and he's awesome. If I can think of his name. I can think of his name. Secretly, I am not going to my YouTube and checking my descriptions. My sub subscriptions. See if I can see his name more fast. It's actually not just one person, it's two people. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find him in the coolie manner of time. Oh, wait. I think it's this guy. Okay. And watch me butcher his... Watch me... It's actually two guys. Let me Watch me butcher this. It's going to be... Let's see. Mag, Magnum Sports Network. If I butcher that. I apologize. If I did butcher that, let me just double check to make sure this is accurate. Yeah, this is the right guy, yeah. Um, but yeah, those guys are awesome. They give great fantasy advice. I watch them all the time. Next one we're going to do here is going to be Chiefs versus Raiders. I think the Chiefs are going to win this game. I have some faith in the Chiefs here, and I think the Raiders are going to be a little high off their winning ways for the last two weeks. Falcons versus Seahawks. I think Falcons are going to win this game against the Seahawks, even though it's in Seattle. I think the Falcons are really good right now. Uh, Packers versus Cowboys. It's kind of funny because, you know, Falcons stand for fans always counting. Wait, fans always left counting on next season. But somehow they're winning. So fans, maybe that was last year's Falcons. And now this is the season you're counting on. There you go. Packers versus Cowboys. I think Cowboys win this game even though it is in Green Bay. I don't have any faith in the Packers right now. Colts versus Texans. I think the Texans are going to win this game. Point and simple, I don't have any faith in the Colts. Will Fuller should have a good game again. Jets versus Cardinals. I think that the Cardinals are going to get ready. Lose. JK, are you kidding me? The Jets? If it's magic, though, so many picks. Patrick Peterson will have more touchdowns than, he, than Fitzmagic will throw this year. Cardinals win. Duh, come on. <laughs> you really thought I was going to say the Jets were going to win. Duh, Jets. I mean, there is another thing like J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets suck. Is that a thing? Yeah, we're not doing the Jets. <laughs> I'm never predicting the Jets again. I predicted the Jets would win against the Steelers. I was wrong. I predicted they would win against the Seahawks. I was wrong. I'm done predicting for the Jets. The Jets are going to lose every game, and that's just how it works. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you would like to join the GOAT list, go down below in the description, click that link, and you're going to be taken over to a beautiful website where you can sign up. You can either donate one of three options. You can be bronze level, which is $1, $5, which is silver level, and you can donate $100, which is platinum level, all of your choosing. You get some nice, you know, awesome rewards over there, and you also get some extra videos over there for donating. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next one. Peace out.